our county schools are spending less per student compared to other districts of similar size. We're the fifth largest, but a governor's office report shows spending more doesn't necessarily mean better results. We welcome in for the first time in Rachel's absence, Jeremy Portnoy from Open the Books. Thank you for being here, Jeremy. So, okay, so this came from a public school audit from the governor's office indicating that when you spend more money on education, it's not always the answer. With that said, it's kind of a shock after the state just increased education spending by a historic 2.6 billion last year. What exactly did the audit say about this spending? Good morning, thanks for having me. Uh, so you might have seen in the newspapers this headline, the school audit came out. Now, Governor Lombardo was saying it was a waste of money that they increased the funding by $2.6 billion for schools. But when you look through the whole audit, it's really a little more complicated than that. All the audit really said is that money is not the only factor that goes into student performance. They pointed out some schools in Chicago and L.A. where they're spending more than Clark County, uh, but the students are doing worse in math and reading. They pointed out some schools in Miami where they're spending less, but the students are doing better. Uh, but there's other metrics besides that that go into measuring a school. I mean, if you look at the high schools in Clark County, the graduation rate is only 81%, which is lower than all the other big school districts listed in this audit. So maybe we should be a little cautious about cutting funding. Interesting. The audit also noted how poorly students are reading all over the state of Nevada. What was the recommendation there? So the audit said that less than half the kids in Nevada are reading at grade level. The big measure they use is third grade. They say if you're reading fine by third grade, then you're four times more likely to graduate high school by the time you're 19. So Nevada's goal for the state is to have 43% of third graders reading at grade level, which is not that lofty of a goal. I mean, if you look at states like Ohio, Florida, their goal is closer to 90%. Uh, so the audit even recommends the schools hire more reading teachers and specialists for that, which is an example of increasing spending instead of cutting the funding. Uh, the audit also had a lot to say about transparency and public schools and apparently public schools not properly reporting what they are spending. So was there a recommendation on that front? Yeah, so it turns out that only uh, the three quarters of the schools in Nevada are not following the law and are not reporting their spending publicly. Clark County is one of four that actually is doing it right. They're publishing their spending in a newspaper. Uh, but the audit still gave two recommendations to increase transparency. They said, number one, let's update the state law so schools have to put their spending online instead of in a newspaper. And number two, since about 50% of the schools have financial statements with conflicting information, let's make some kind of statewide accountability system so that people can check that those numbers are accurate. Uh, and as you know, at Open the Books, we're all about transparency. So those are two recommendations that we definitely support.